Hello everyone, welcome to Dada's Food Crave Kitchen. If you're new here, I welcome you. If you're a returning subscriber, I also welcome you. If you're new, I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget that post notification bell so that you'll be one of the first to know whenever I upload a new video. And happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there in advance. This is a special dish for all the mothers out there. All right, so in today's video, I am going to show you how to make this delicious dish, mouth watering. You don't need the spoon. You will need your hand to dig into this recipe. It's called Chebukecha Agnyebe Akong Agyohos. Yes, this is the white version. You can make it the red version as well. If you want to see how this dish is made, Keep on watching and without any further ado, let's get cooking. All right, my daughter's team, let's start with our first ingredients. I have here oysters, as we know it in Gambia, yohos. I have my hot oil already heated up. What you want to do, you don't put no seasoning in the oyster because it's a little bit salty already. Naturally, I'm not sure why. So you're going to heat up your oil and then fry the oyster slash your husk until it's completely dry. Then you go ahead and take it out. Then next I have here my ingredients. I'm going to add all these ingredients into the blender. I have my scotch bonnet or habanero pepper. I have my green bell pepper, I have onions and also scallions, which is the onion. I also have here some garlic. Yes, I'm going to add this in the blender and it's called nokos. All right, I'm going to add all my nokos into the blender and blend it until it's smooth. To that, I'm going to add some jimbo cubes. Use any seasoned cube of your choice. I know most of you don't like that jimbo seasoning, but use any seasoning you have of your choice. Then I have here diced tomato. If you don't have that, you can use one fresh tomato. I'm not using the whole can. I'm just using half of the can of the diced tomato. All right. Then to that, I am going to go ahead and add some black pepper. All right, you want to use a good generous amount of black pepper. I'm going, going to give it a good mix. You can add it before you blend the ingredients, but I did it afterwards. Then I have here my Kruger fish. All right, this recipe has like cut smoked cut fish. All right, it's optional if you want to add fresh fish in it. If not, just use the smoked cut fish. That should be okay. I just want to add more protein into the dish. I added salt and lemon to season my fish. I'm going to put that aside. Let it season. Then next, I have here my sorrel leaf, which we call sour sour. I purchased this from the Gambia as well. Make sure you check quick cook. Yes. So I also have here my fresh okra and my spinach. I'm going to add the sour sour leaf, which is the um, the sorrel leaf, which is the uh, bisab. If you have bisab, you don't need to add any lemon into your rangha bisab. But if you don't have the sour sour leaf, which is the sorrel leaf, you can go ahead and add lemon into your rangha bisab. So I'm going to add the baby spinach, the okra, and the sorrel leaf, which is the sour sour leaf bisab, and 
steam it just a little bit. Then next I have here one cup of black eyed peas, nyebe. One cup of black eyed peas, I'm going to go ahead and soak it for one good 45 minutes. Then I have all my vegetables here. I have okra, I have eggplant, carrot, and pumpkin. All right, feel free to use any vegetables of your choice. You can add um, cabbage as well. Then I have here my yeet, which is snail. Then I also have my gauger, which is the salted fish. As you can see, I soaked the salted fish into water. Then I'm gonna add, which is optional, some prawns, some shrimp into this recipe. Now let's check our oyster, our yohos. As you can see, it's fried really nicely. I'm going to go ahead and scoop it out from the oil and set it aside. And if you don't um, eat oyster, it's perfectly fine. But if you have oyster, this it will take it for, to a whole nother level. You can hear the crunch, right? <laughs> now, after taking it out from the um, hot oil, I'm using that same oil to fry my onions. This is half red onion and half white onion. All right. I'm going to use that same oil. I fry the oyster, the yohos and brown my onion. Then to that, I'm going to go ahead and add my ketchup. All right. Then I will add my snail, which is my yeet. So I apologize. I don't know the name of this fish. It's dried fish and it was, it has a lot of bone in it and it was already deboned. I bought it from Quick Cook as well in the Gambia. It was already deboned and seasoned with salt. If you don't have the one that's already deboned, you have to take all the bone out. It has a lot of bone in it. Yes, it's dry fish. It's called kecha. I'm not sure how it's called in English, but it's called kecha. So I went ahead and add my kecha early. The reason why I added early because it's on the hard side. Then I went ahead and add my yeet, which is my snail. Yes, this will give the um, the benachin, the chair, a whole delicious aroma. I went ahead and covered the pot and fried a little bit. Now I'm going to just stir it up a little bit. And if you like this video so far, give this video a big like. If you're new, I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget that to turn on your post notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever, whenever I upload a new video. So to that, I'm going to go ahead and add in my blended ingredients, which is my knockers, and give it a good stir like so, and brown it a little bit. Then next, I'm going to go ahead and add the seasoning I purchased in the Gambia. It's called Jonghe, I believe. Like I said, this is my second time I'm using it. I added some in my um, fish macros too, my previous video. Make sure you check that out. Like I said again, use any seasoning of your choice. I don't expect everyone to have the same seasoning I'm using in my recipe. Use any seasoning you usually use that you have in your kitchen. As long as you follow the recipe, you should be good to go. Then next, I'm going to go ahead and add one teaspoon of my bay leaf powder. If you don't have the bay leaf powder, you can go ahead and add just the bay leaf itself. So I went ahead and add my bay leaf powder. Like I said, if you don't have the powder, just go ahead and use the bay, the dry bay leaf. This is just to give taste and aroma into the dish. Cover the pot and let it brown up a little bit, then come back and check on it. So let's check on our um, onions and ketchup and all that good stuff. 
and as you can see it's browned up really nicely I hope you're enjoying this video so far then next I'm going to go ahead and add my black eye peas which is my beans my nyebe into the pot which I was I soaked for 30 to 45 minutes now you can add the, the black eye peas the nyebe after you add the water but I'm just doing it this way all right you can add the beans after you add your water so I went ahead and add the beans give it a little bit mixed like so then next I'm going to go ahead and add all my vegetables my carrot my eggplant um, my my raw fish my pumpkin my okra scotch bonnet pepper my geja and my smoked catfish as well all right if you don't have smoked cut fish that's perfectly fine but I, this dish is recommend to use smoked cut fish but the fish part that white fish the Kroger fish is optional I just wanted to add more protein into my dish but adding the white fish which is the Kroger is optional you can just use the catfish the kecha the oyster which is the yours and you should be good to go all right as you can see I added my water I added boiling water you can just use your water that you you know tap water or whatever then I also went ahead and add the remaining blended ingredients which is the knockers all right like I said again you can add water first before adding all your ingredients I just did it that way I added all my ingredients first then I add water there is no um, special way this is just how I do it but you can just add the water first then add all your ingredients I went ahead and covered the pot now let's check on our baby spinach our okra and our sour sour leaf which is the sorrel the bisab like I said again if you don't have the sorrel leaf which is the bisab all right you can go ahead and use lemon it's a must it's supposed to be on the sour side okay it's called ranka bisab if you have um, locust beans as well you can add it there you can add the locust beans the raw locust beans or the um, powdered locust beans I went ahead and add some jimbo cube and I also took two of the pepper from the um, sauce I was cooking um, the pepper is supposed to be cooked it's your life music then I went ahead and add some salt to taste adjust the spice and the salt intake to your liking Now you want to blend the baby spinach and all the ingredients into your blender until it turns puree like so. And you also want to check and taste it and make sure it's perfect. All right. If you don't have the sorrel leaf, go ahead and put in some um, lemon juice in it. Okay. It has to be on the tangy side. Now let's check all our vegetables as you can see everything is cooked nicely I'm going to go ahead and pick everything out all she want is just to help you have a happy home cook every meal for everyone now i'm using my broken rice i'm going uh, it's already washed i'm going to put it in the microwave for like eight minutes all right 
You can use any rice of your choice. This is the broken rice, which is the rice beet. So after taking every all the ingredients out of the pot, I'm going to go ahead now and add my rice. Before you add the rice, you want to make sure all your seasoning is intact. Taste for salt. Taste and make sure it's good because once you add the rice, you're not going to be able to add any more seasoning. As you can see, I took all the ingredients out, the fish and all the vegetables. Now let's go ahead and add our rice. You hear the crunch of the oyster, the yohos. It's really crunchy and it's so delicious. And that little bit of um, prawns that I have, I forgot to add it there. So I went ahead and added it before I add the rice. Then I went ahead and take it out. Local and international recipes. With a smile on her face every day Dada's food drift kitchen Is the best you will find With Dada's food drift kitchen You can cook it Now let's add our rice that's why it's very, very important. When you're using um, broken rice, like the rice beet, like so, and any rice, if you want that perfect benachin, that perfect cheb, you want to sousal the rice. Steam the rice first in a microwave for like five to eight minutes before you add it. Then in that case, you won't have to add a lot of water because then your rice will become very mushy and pota pota. And there is no such thing as pota pota benachin. So when you add the rice into the microwave or you sousal it, you steam it, then you will not require to add a lot of water. The rice will come out really fluffy and really, really nice in your mouth when you're eating it. So I went ahead and add my rice. I'm going to go ahead and now add my fried, dried oyster slash yohos. Then I'm going to cover it with a foil or parchment paper for like 30 to 35 minutes on a low medium heat let it do its thing then we'll come back and check on it <music> Now, after 35 minutes, let's check on our rice. Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. If you're liking this video, give this video a big like. And if you're new, I hope you will consider subscribing to this channel. This dish was like, oh, I'm telling you, I'm not even going to like brag. You just have to make it and follow the step, the recipe step by step. Come back and thank me later. The oyster, the kecha, the flavor of the um smoked catfish Ugh. i'm telling you who this food is to die for yes so i'm gonna turn it gently like so Ugh. the aroma in my kitchen was like whoa ha. i'm telling you so i'm gonna give it a gentle turn like so then i'm gonna cover it and cook it for an additional five minutes then we're gonna come back and check the finished look
and this is the final look guys the rice is cooked to perfection the water was perfect i put it in the, i put the rice in the microwave for like eight minutes even if you don't use the broken rice you're only using any type of rice basmati rice or whatever just susal it a little bit steam it in the microwave for like i would say like eight minutes all right after you wash the rice not dry you have to wash the rice as it's wet you train strain the water out and put in the microwave for like eight minutes and then put it in this will require for you not to add a lot of water so that your rice will come out perfect now it's time to dish out our chebu ketcha agnyebe akong agyohos he and the ranghabisab on the side Ugh, this meal man i'm telling you is to die for Give this video a big like and a big thumbs up if you're enjoying watching this video. I'm licking my lips, so I don't know about you guys. <laughs> So I went ahead and presented really nicely for you guys. Add all my ingredients, my prawns, my okra, my eggplant, my fish, my carrot, my geja, my yeet, my rancha pisab. Oh, I'm telling you. Give this video a big like and share with your family and friends. This is a special dish, like I said, for all the mothers out there. Happy Mother's Day to you all. Yes, try this recipe. Leave your comment down below if you have any question. Let me know and let me also know in the comment section where you're watching me from. Yes. And I thank you all so very much. It's always a pleasure to come in my kitchen and cook for you guys. Yes, I wake up very early this morning and I make sure I whip this dish for you guys. Yes, you know, guys, I have your back. Try this recipe. Leave your comment down below. Share with your family and friends. Give this video a big like. And if you try it or you have any question, just ask me in the comment section down below. I'll be more than happy to answer everybody's question. All right. The more you like, the more it helps my channel out. I'll see you all in my next video. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye bye. Oh, 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 oh,